Okay, we've got our coffee and it's actually warm and I am feeling it today. I put on this top today and this color is one of my absolute favorite colors, like a bluish teal, whatever you call it. I just think it's so pretty. But as I put it on, I thought, am I over the whole like cold shoulder type top? I guess this isn't totally like a cold shoulder top because it's a little more tank toppy, but still, I don't know. I don't care though, I just like it, all right? So today, I have some makeup on because we're gonna be playing with five drugstore products I recently picked up that just kind of piqued my interest for one reason or another. I am so excited. I thought about doing even more, but I was like, I really wanna pare down how much I'm trying at a time, as I've mentioned numerous times this year, and I figure five is a really good amount where I can try them out, really give them the time and attention they deserve. <laughs> We've got a concealer, a powder, a cream cheek product, a brush and a lip product. All of them are ones that I have been dying to try. So let's dive in. The first thing we're trying today is a concealer from Physicians Formula. This is their Natural Defense Concealer. And it says it's got sunscreen, SPF of 30, and then blue light filter stuff, pollution, protection. It's got a cushion tip, seemingly reminiscent of like what Charlotte Tilbury has or like the Maybelline Age Rewind kind of like sponge tip applicator. I grabbed the shade Light. Oh, it really is reminiscent of the Charlotte Tilbury where you turn it. Physicians Formula, if you are watching, when will you come out with like a liquid highlight and blush and bronzer a la the Charlotte Tilbury ones in the same packaging? I think that'd be pretty freaking cool. So it shoots up through a center hole. <laughs> Whereas like the Charlotte Tilbury ones, it just emits all throughout the entire sponge. I might prefer the whole method. I just feel like it's maybe a little less messy. The reason I hadn't tried a lot of this line from Physicians Formula, even though I was interested in it, was really because I could only find it online. Now I'm starting to see it pop up in stores. So, which is why I finally bought this. I Let me swatch it for a sec. I have no idea. So it feels a little thicker, um, a little more almost like it's gonna maybe stay in place pretty well, almost satin matte not like, I don't wanna say it's not hydrating, it might be hydrating, but it definitely doesn't feel like dewy or tacky or anything like that. So we're gonna see, I'm gonna start with like a little bit, maybe a little more. I already have foundation and brows on by the way. So we'll try this side with a brush. It's definitely a drier formula. I can tell you that right off the bat. It's just a little bit drier, but not, I mean, it's obviously still blending out, so it's not like, crazy dry but and sometimes drier formulas tend to stay better and tend to crease less so if you have a lot of issues with that you might prefer a drier formula you know it definitely covered a lot i mean looking at it with and without and that blended in pretty quickly this might be dry enough where it might be a decent face concealer too where it'll actually stay in place i'll try this side with a sponge although i have a feeling i'm gonna like it best with the brush, but who knows? Definitely less coverage. You can see right off the bat, I used about the same amount, keeping in mind that that's what sponges do. They're typically less coverage, which I don't mind for most things, but in this case, I do want a little more. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more and then use a brush to blend it. I think that's probably the best, best method. Have you guys ever heard of that? Those are called spoonerisms, where you like mix up um, like the beginning of the word with the beginning of the next word or like you put them together or something like that. I'm sure I'm butchering the definition, but I think I've told this story before. My younger brother, he's just like a year or two younger than me. He used to jokingly do that all the time. Like if he was trying to say, if he were trying to say coffee mug, he'd be like that cug. So we are in our cabin that we are just staying at as a family and I am editing this video and I'm dying because I'm not right about what a spoonerism is. I was close. But basically it was saying uh, a verbal error in which a speaker accidentally transposes the initial sounds or letters of two or more words. So like if you were trying to say you have hissed the mystery lectures instead of miss the history lectures. That's funny too. Anyway, so me saying that my brother said cug instead of coffee mug, it would have been moffy cug. Wait, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tyler agrees. Yeah. It's just, it's funny. Anyway, that's all. Hold on, my eye is so red, I got the concealer in it. Ugh. This kind of reminds me, I don't wanna to speak too soon, so, so take this with a grain of salt, but it reminds me a lot of the Benefit Cakeless Concealer, which is one that I really like, that is moisturizing enough, but it sets in such a way that like, it's just nice. It's easy to blend in, it's comfortable to work with, it's comfortable to wear. 
Um, I still typically set it and I'm gonna set this too. Oh my gosh, I've really gotta get control of the concealer that got in this eye. So preemptively I'm saying I'm enjoying it. I feel like it's actually staying in place already. You know, some concealers, if you keep blending at them, they'll just blend away, which, you know, if you're not a makeup artist, I'm not a makeup artist. I like to just keep blending things, I don't know. But this is staying pretty well. So I'm gonna set this with my number seven powder that I set everything with. The Lift and Lit, what's it called? <laughs> the coffee's not hitting yet, man. The Lift and Luminate powder. You can definitely see it's starting to settle in a little bit, which again, most concealers do. All right, that was a lot of time on that concealer. <laughs> But it's kind of a cool idea, going back to the original thing, because I feel like I didn't really talk about it. It's supposed to have blue light and pollution protection. I don't know. It says it's medium to full coverage. I would say medium, but it did. I mean, that's some nice coverage. So it protects against the sun, blue light and pollution. I think it's pretty cool. I'm not, I like the idea of it having some sunblock in it. I still, when I put on SPF, like before I sat down to film, I still put SPF around my eyes anyway. And the extra layers of it is obviously a good thing. It's never a bad thing. So. I don't even think I'm gonna do eye makeup today. None of the things I'm trying are eye makeup. And I'm like, I always feel like I have to do something with my eyes. And I'm like, Jessica, you don't always have to. So I think I might leave them alone, especially since I really poked that eye real good there. So the next thing we're gonna try is this Maybelline Cheek Heat Gel Cream Blush. I have heard very mixed things. People hated this or they loved it. I don't feel like there's been an in-between. My interest is peaked for this, for sure. So I got the shade Coral Ember, shade number 30, and it says it's a sheer flush of color and it's supposed to be lightweight. I like that, so we're gonna see. I'm just excited that Drugstore is now like trying to, I'm just excited that cream, blushes, bronzers, highlights are making their way into the drugstore because for a while I felt like you couldn't find a lot. The only brands that were making a lot of different options were high end. So it's exciting that, you know, there are, they're branching out into the drugstore. Oh, this is thicker than I thought. Oh no, it was just the first little turd. I am curious about this because it, let me just show you. It feels almost like, do you see how there's like a sheer quality? It almost feels like a gloss and it's a little bit gloopy. Like I can't get that bit to blend in. I don't know, we're gonna see. So. Before I apply this, another product I'm wanting to try today is probably the one I'm weirdly the most excited about. It's this EcoTools 360 Ultimate Sheer. If you look at it, it's kind of like a dual fiber brush, but then if you look closer, it says it's best for powders. And I was like, but I don't wanna use it for powders. So I'm gonna use it for this cream blush because I feel like this is the kind of brush I would totally use with that anyway. And maybe it'll be awful and I'll regret my decision, but I don't think that I will. <sighs> okay, I love this handle, this like pretty kind of tan, almost not marbled, but like speckled handle. It feels really, really nice. I think I'm gonna tap it onto the cheek and then blend it in. How about that? Oh, this is definitely gonna be a little more sheer. That, well, first of all, this brush just rocked my world. That was so fast. And because it's really, really light, I don't feel like it moved around the foundation underneath it because it's not dense at all. It's very, very kind of loosey-goosey. So let's put a little bit on. I'm not sure about this blush formula though. Because it's so sheer, this probably is the best way to apply it, almost directly to the cheek and then you could probably do your finger. I guess I should have done that for one side, but here we are. It's not terrible. Could you make it work if you already had it? I think so, yes. And if you're a total, total like newbie to cream blush, this might be a great option because it'd be hard to screw up in that it's, it's really sheer. You know what I mean? But I'm just not, I don't, I just don't think I like it a lot. I like it to have a little bit more pigment. I feel like the Flower Beauty blush bombs are a way better option and they're around the same price. Let me just say that. If you're dying to try something, try those. They're better than this. This is just a little bit, I, I really can't find the words to describe it. I just don't think I like it. It looks fine on though, but I, I have a feeling this will be something in the future I declutter. This brush is now my new cream blush brush because that was incredible. It is so soft, it feels really well made. A million thumbs up. I can't believe no one's talking about this. <laughs> All right, so another thing I wanted to try is this CoverGirl powder. And what's funny is the only reason I bought it is because I thought it was pretty. I mean, look at the packaging. It's pretty light pink. I was like, oh, I want that in my makeup bag. There is no depth to my shallowness. It says it's just a pressed powder. Um, I got it in the shade 120 Fair, which I do think is probably a good match for me. And it says it absorbs oil, it delivers fresh, naturally flawless looking skin, no phthalates, mineral oil, formaldehyde, talc, parabens, and sulfates. It's supposed to be lightweight, lasts all day, buildable coverage. I have to say, I really like the way 
CoverGirl redesigned their powder things. I like that there's still a mirror, but there's really no wasted space. So if you do use the puff, obviously you can still fit it in there. But if you don't, you know, you can just not have it in. I just, I think they're sleek. They're really, really pretty. Whoever they hired that helped redesign a lot of the brand, I think did a really good job. I have not tried a CoverGirl powder in a thousand years. Oh, and it doesn't have a smell. I thought for sure it would have that classic CoverGirl powder smell, but it really doesn't. So keeping in mind, for me, I need to check myself because I know that I love powder foundation that has that little bit more coverage. This is not gonna have that kind of coverage, but it really, I just swatched it on my hand and it really blurred that area. And I'm like, dang, have I been like sleeping on this? I'm just gonna do my nose. Wow. That definitely blurred the area. Let's do my forehead because you can see, look how oily it is. Just the center. Wow. I mean, it's a lot more blurred than it was, I have to say. I'm gonna hit a little bit of my cheeks here just to kind of tamp down that blush. I can tell you right now that blush is not gonna stay. Here's the thing. I've never really, I never really use just classic oil absorbing pressed powders because of my skin type. I do have pretty darn normal skin. If it leans any way, it's definitely leaning dry, but like in the summer, it's not super dry, okay? So with that in mind, I never really used powders like this because I'm like, well, if I'm gonna grab a powder, I'll either do a loose powder because it blurs and it tamps down a little bit of oiliness and it prolongs the wear of my makeup, or I'm gonna use a powder foundation that gives that extra coverage while still holding my makeup in place and you know tamping down oil. But the reality is this is way easier. I feel like for me, this would replace my loose powder because it did a really good job of blurring my skin the way that the loose powders I use do, but with a way better ease of use, right? This is so much quicker. I'm not making a mess of powder and doing all that. I can just open it, powder it, and I really do think it added maybe a tiny bit of coverage, not a ton, but enough that I feel like my foundation's actually gonna stay in place. And while it mattified, you can still see that my skin has a little bit of life shining through, which I love, so. Color me surprised that I actually like it. I'm glad that I do because I really like the packaging. So there you go. So another thing I wanted to try that I recently bought is this Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I am a huge fan of plumping glosses to a certain extent. Like some of them can go too far and it just doesn't feel good on your lips. But like if we're talking about like the Buxom ones or like the Milani Keep It Full ones, those have that slight little plumping and I feel like it makes my lips look a lot healthier and a lot younger, you know what I mean? Because I have those lines in my lips. When I saw these released, I was like, oh my, like I needed, and if you saw my anti-haul wish list from probably last month, I think I talked about these and I was like, I'm definitely buying one, and I did. So these are from Maybelline, like I said, they have hyaluronic acid in them. I have the shade 004 Silk. And let's kind of swatch it. It's got a big doe foot. I think this packaging is really pretty. It kind of feels, more akin to like high-end packaging. It really does. I mean, it's still plastic, but it feels nice. Okay, so it has more color than I get. I would have guessed. Does it have a smell? I don't wanna say vanilla, kind of coffee cake, but not even, I don't really know how to describe the smell, you guys. It's not fruity. It's not quite vanilla. It's just like slightly sweet. It's, it's nice, almost like suntan lotion. That sounds gross, but it does kind of smell like that. So this looks really pretty. Let's just see. I'm gonna wipe off. I just have like lip balm on. Just get most of that off. I hope I like this because I think this is a cool line. So I don't remember, I was just talking about plumping. Now that I'm saying this, does this have plumping qualities to it? I got let me look it up once I get this on, crap. <laughs> I feel weird having something on my lips and nothing on my eyes, I have to say. This feels nice, it's not sticky. You can get a really thin layer on, it almost feels more like a lip balm. I mean a glossy lip balm, you know what I mean? Versus like a gloss where it's sticky and kind of tacky. This is not like that at all. It just feels good on the lips. Ooh, and I'm digging this color too for just like an everyday color. All right, let me look up the claims because I don't know why I thought this was supposed to be plumping. Maybe it's not. You can get it for $6.99 at Target if you were curious. That's a pretty sweet deal. So it looks like they've got, I'm looking on Ulta's site. Wow, a lot of it's sold out. Holy moly. 
$8.99 on Ulta site. It says drenched lips with a hydrating shine for a fuller lifted look. It visibly smooths lip surface and enhances lip contour with a high shine. And plus it's extra large wand, transforms lips in an easy one swipe application. 90% agree lips feel hydrated, okay. It says fuller lips, but I think it's a fuller look. It, well, I guess no matter what, it'd be a fuller look. It must not actually be plumping, but it definitely feels hydrating, like really, really hydrating. So I'm digging this, even if it's not plumping, which is fine. Okay, so that's everything. I uh, thought about doing a wear test, but if I'm being honest, I don't really feel like I need to. This concealer I know is gonna stay in place because frankly, anything I set with this stays in place and I'm really digging it and I'd rather give you in like a month a speed review on these where I actually share how I'm feeling. I just feel like that's gonna be more helpful. So digging the concealer, loving this brush and loving this gloss. And then the only other things I can tell you right now, this blush, I mean, it's already almost non-existent. I'm not digging. I'll probably eventually declutter. I'll keep trying, but I'm not loving it. I just don't know. And if you guys have tried any other shades of it, are the other shades different? Do you feel like it differs shade to shade? I don't know. I don't know that I want to buy another shade to try it out, you know? And then the powder, I really do think looks nice. It really blurred those areas. And I feel like this would be one of those things that would be awesome to keep in your purse too for touch-ups, you know, so that you can go powder your nose. All in all, a good roundup of things. Like I said, I will update you in about a month or so here on my channel with updates on all of these and any other products I've been trying over the month. I have a whole playlist of speed reviews if you're interested in seeing my final thoughts on other products I had tried. But yeah, I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, I would love if you subscribed and joined our happy little corner of the internet. I upload three times a week, beauty, lifestyle, home, cooking, vlogs, all kinds of stuff. Other than that, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.